hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we will see how we can install java jdk latest version on our mac os okay so let's start so i have opened my web browser and i'll be searching java jdk and in the search results we can see there are numerous link but the first link has been pointed towards oracle.com and i'll be clicking on this url yeah. so to download java jdk first of all we need to you know logged in into the oracle account if you are not you can directly create an oracle account if you have already created then you need to log in and you can see which java versions you wanted to install so the latest java version is jdk 20 jdk 20 has been released this year 2023 and the next release would be released in september 2023 that would be jdk 21 the lts version for java is jdk 17 and its support is till 2024 okay so i will be installing for my mac os now i will be clicking on the mac os tab as per the operating system you need to choose which operating system you wanted to have so if you are installing it for linux you want it to install for linux then you can simply download the linux version okay so coming back to the mac os there are two versions that it will simply show you arm and x64 basically the difference between the two is arm is apple silicon based okay and x64 is basically intel based so arm you can basically install if you have m1 or m2 chip based mac os you can search which mac os you have by going at the left hand side corner of your mac os and clicking on this apple logo about this mac and in my about this mac i can see my chip is apple m2 so i will be installing for my apple m2 based mac os and i'll be downloading this arm64 based dmg installer so it will download in few seconds basically depends upon your internet connection and if you are using intel based then you need to download the x64 dmg installer i will be providing you the url of this jdk installation in the video description so after downloading the same i will be double clicking on this and it will open a package manager for jdk 20 so we need to double click on this it will open a installation prompt and we need to start the installation continue installation type it will take around 327 mb of space it will ask your mac os password not the icloud or apple id password it will start downloading the jdk validating package and we can see installation has been successful so i'm going to close this and it will also ask if you wanted to move the installer to the bin so i will be moving to the bin because i have already installed it and no need to you know keep it in your finder okay after installing the same i will be opening the terminal so you can op open the terminal by pressing command space bar or by clicking on the spotlight so click on terminal so you have already installed java now you need to see if you have set the path or not so opening the terminal then write java space hyphen version so i can see i have already installed java version jdk 17 that is the lts version so i am installing multiple version of java because of my project requirements so i am just showing you like how you can install jdk and how you can set the path okay so if you are using apple silicon based machine m1 or m2 chip based machine then you need to create z shell file so how you can you know know which shell environment you are currently working on so for that command is echo dollar shell so after writing this you can see that i have z shell on my machine but if you are working with the intel based mac os then it must be bash profile okay so if you haven't created the z shell then you can create by using touch dot Z S H E N V. Using this command, you can create. But though I have already created the Z shell environment file, I will be not creating it. Okay. So I will be opening my Z shell 
similarly if you are using the bash profile then you can also create the same by writing touch dot bash underscore profile okay so now i will be opening my z shell environment file where i need to set my path though i have already shown you that by entering java space version you can see that there is already a java version installed on my machine but if you are writing the same on your machine then it will show you nothing because you haven't you know either you haven't installed the same or either you haven't set the path so after entering vi.zshell environment command okay a env property file will be opened and you can see i have already set a path export java home library java virtual machine jdk you can see the complete path okay so in this way you can set the path for your jdk now i will be closing this file so in this way you can set the path and after setting the path kindly exit the terminal and after exiting the terminal you need to reopen the terminal and you need to again write the same command java space version the one question that most of the users came up with like how they would you know know which or uh, where they have installed the jdk so for that there is also a command you can simply write so i'm writing the wrong it would be java underscore home okay so now you can see all the jdk version would be listed out here whichever has been installed on my machine so there are multiple version i have installed basically as per my need okay so using this command you can see which jdk version you are currently having and you can copy this path and you can simply paste out this path in your environment shell file be it set as such env environment file or dot bash profile okay so in this way you can install java on your machine so that's it for today guys if you have any doubt or any query kindly do comment thank you